Okay, so what we have here right now is a TCM FTB 18-7 and the complaint from the customer is it would lift but it would not lower. So right now I jumped up the seat switch and I try to see, I'm gonna lift it up. So as you can see it's lifting but when you put the handle down, so no movement so it doesn't lower. All right, so on the design when I was looking at the um, schematic for this so this is your lip lever but in order to go down the solenoid we call it a lip lock solenoid this has to be energized so right here so you see this plug it goes into your lip lock solenoid so two wires one would be the black and one would be the pink the black right now which is I'm um, hooked up to is the negative so it's a common negative so right now I know based on the reading I'm getting full battery voltage on it All right I'm using the black lead and my red lead is connected to my uh, battery positive so it's registering 48.96 which is the voltage of the battery so I know that I have a good negative so this has a negative all the time and it is the positive that's being supplied by the computer somehow so we're gonna what we're gonna test next is on the pink wire when I put the handle down to lower we should have 49 or battery voltage going here Oh, well, you know what it's not supposed to be 48 it's supposed to be a 24 volter right because the uh, lip solenoid is rated for 24 volts so on the pink wire, when you lower down, 24 volts should be present right there. So that's the next thing we're gonna check. Okay, back probing now on the uh, pink wire. Also, still using my black lead and my red lead is connected to my battery positive. I can see the same voltage, just dropping down by a couple of millivolts. So that would tell me that the coil on my lip lock solenoid is not open. Right, so I get a negative on the black wire and the negative passes through the coil and back into the pink wire. So that tells me that my lip lock solenoid is not open. So now we're gonna switch our leads again and we're gonna try to see if they have positive voltage going into the pink wire when you try okay, to Okay, now we're back probing again into the uh, back of that pink wire. But now using our red lead, focus on the meter. I'm gonna try to lower down. So I have the lever going down, but I see no voltage going through. Zero. So now we know that the solenoid is not being powered up. So now we're gonna to have to trace out the circuit for that one. Okay, so now we have the schematic for this truck, and that's our lip solenoid. You see, it's a common negative. Right, so the power now has to come from this circuit. So lip lock. So they have it as a simple simple voltage divider circuit to drop the 48 into 24. So this is your lip lock relay, right? And then power comes from the key switch, goes through a resistor network to divide the voltage into 24. Okay, so right now our concentration would be on this circuit. So you see a couple of resistors as a dividing network and these would be the resistors. So you have your 2 watt resistors here. I had to take off some of that, I don't know, silicone or rubber stuff in there. But somebody was already toying around with this one from before. Alright, so these are your bigger resistors, going to be like 30 and the 40 watt. So looking back, these are going to be the bigger resistors. And the smaller resistors, which is going to be the uh, two watt resistors, they are both 180. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on this circuit for now. So there's going to be one wire going to both resistors, right? And then the blue wire coming off of it. So this wire is going to be the yellow wire. This one's right here is going to be yellow. This is going to be the white. So in the middle should be blue. So these are the resistors right here. So the yellow is coming straight from the key switch. We're gonna check that first. 
All right, so let's check the yellow. Okay, we have straight battery voltage. Then we're gonna check the blue. So we get battery voltage on that too, all right? So on the other end, which is the white wire, that should have been a 24. But as you can see right now, that's zero. And that should be leading straight to our lip lock relay coil, which is this guy. So that should be in the 24 as well. All right, so right now I'm gonna try to do is desolder this and let's check the, that resistor. Okay, so now we, we have desoldered one end of that resistor and I have my black lead uh, on that end of the resistor. All right, so let's check this, see what reading we get. Okay, that's way out of specs. So 56 K ohm and it was supposed to be a 180 ohm resistor. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is replace that and see where it takes us. Okay, so right now I uh, soldered another uh, 180 ohm resistor coming from the local electronic store. So we're gonna check it again. This is where we should have a 24 volt. So I'll put it there. So you can see now it's back, right? Now we're going to try it out it now. Lift it up. Goes up. A little lower down. There it is. Go up. Okay, lower down. Okay, so that is it. So it's just a problem with the resistor not giving enough power to the uh, relay causing the uh, lip, so lip lock solenoid not to get any power and the hydraulics couldn't go back to the tank okay so that's it for the truck we're just gonna clean this up and put another maybe I don't know glue or whatever we bring it back and we can call it a fix